Hi everyone. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. And don't forget to leave me a comment on this video once you finish watching it or while you're watching it, whatever. <laughs> um, so just to go over this with you guys, this video is gonna be a little bit different. If you live in Orlando, Florida, Altamont Springs, Florida, or anywhere in Central Florida that is very near to Orlando, Florida, and you want your locks retwisted, you want them started, you want them um, I don't braid locks, so I won't braid them, but I will retwist them. So if you want them retwisted, uh, started, cleaned, as in washed, then retwisted, and everything like that, I will do that for you. If you have freeform locks, I will wash your freeform locks for you and I will grease them for you. So I don't have a, uh, a an issue with freeform locks. Um, as I've said before in a previous video, my locks are semi freeform. Sometimes I touch them and, and play in them and sometimes I let them do their own thing. So they're doing their own thing right now. Um, I just had them in a style and I'm just letting them, you know, go back to being straight after a while. It's gonna take them a while because when I did the yarn look, my hair was still wet. So that's why you see all the crinkles and waves. So yeah, so it looks really pretty. And I love this look. Um, I just didn't think it was gonna come out like this, but it did and it's really, really pretty. But anyway, um, so what I'm going to do for the freeform locks, uh, people with freeform locks and the people with locks, I will do your locks whether they are long, short, like I said, starter locks, I'll do starter locks as well. Um, if you have a softer hair texture um, or a finer hair texture, before you get ready to start your locks, um, we're gonna do plaits. Plaits don't come a loose, uh, like two strand twists and regular twists, so I don't start my locks off with regular twists anymore. Uh, when I started these locks off, uh, some of them started off as two strand twists, but I went and changed that and I did them all from plaits. And I did have a little bit of help with them because they were like, they were big. Had like big Rasta style dreads. Like these are small compared to the dress that I had. I had like probably like 20 big dreads. My dreads were fat a while ago, but that was a while back. Um, I cut them a while back and now they're growing back again. But what I like about this time now that they're growing back, they're growing back more evenly and they're, they look more uniform. And so they look really, really pretty because they're like, they're mostly together. But none of my locks are the same length. Um, I'm glad they're not. I like for them to be different lengths um, and everything like that. I feel that locks uh, carry a certain spiritual journey with them. Uh, so there will never be any, uh, I don't allow anyone to touch my locks. So just letting you know when you come to get your hair done by me, I will be sensitive when I touch your locks. I will never pull your locks. I will never yank your locks. I will never touch your locks without your permission. So if you want to come and get your hair done, I won't start touching it without your permission. I will always ask, hey, can I touch your hair? Because I understand the sensitivity, especially when it comes to black hair and especially when it comes to locks. Because like I said, I feel locks are spiritual. I feel like energy is in people's hands and definitely in their hair. Like when I do this, that, that's creating friction on top of my hair. My hair is reacting to my hand. And then all I have to do is this. And I can feel every bit of what's going on in my hair. But anyway, um, in regards to energy, which is mainly good energy, because I'm a very positive person. But anyways, um, just to go over this with you guys. So this video is about me doing something that I love to do for myself, but I want to do it for other people because in the past here in Orlando, people have always asked me, they're like, do you do hair? And I'm like, no, I really just do my own because I was scared to do other people's hair because a lot of times you do other people's hair and they don't like it, excuse me, or they don't really want to, you know, pay for it or whatever. But 
I don't charge that much um, depending on your lock length um, the length of my locks I would charge you about like uh, say $35 um, in regards to the lock length and you only have to get a few things if you're doing starter locks get you some uh, twist and lock gel it could be the Jamaican kind it could be the uh, Murray's beeswax kind um, from the dollar store um, you can get some of that gel um, get you some softy grease everybody knows what I'm talking about hopefully uh, if, if not it's the little mini grease that's a dollar at the dollar store and I think it's like two to three ninety nine at the hair store or whatever so get you one of those and get you the little gel and then get a nice uh, rat tail comb. Uh, most people know what I'm talking about. If not, they have them at both the dollar store. Um, they also have them at Walmart. Walmart and then they have them at the hair store as well. So I wanted to do something that I could be proud of. So doing black hair, I could definitely be proud of that because I do my hair almost every day, except for lately because I wanted to give my hair a break and my edges seem to be getting thin to me at one point, but oh, they're back now. They 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 back. <laughs> Finally, hallelujah. So my my edges were getting thin at one point, I think, because I was putting my hair up and down too much. Another thing, um, I won't pull on your dreads, like putting them like back really tight, unless you tell me that you like them really, 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 really tight. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to put that tension on your hair because what that does is it pulls at the scalp and over time it can cause um, temporary to permanent hair loss uh, from what I've learned over the years. Um, now myself, I have a unique hairline. Um, not everybody has this hairline. Um, a lot of people have this unique hairline. This is called a widow's peak. I do not have a straight hairline, contrary to popular belief. A lot of people think that I have a straight hairline. No, it's a widow's peak. Um, and some people do have a straight hairline. There's nothing wrong with that, but everybody's hairline is different. Um, what else? Uh, this is a kind of a long video, but I still have some more things to cover. Um, so I think that's pretty much it in a nutshell. So you know, if you want to get your hair done in Orlando, Florida, just hit me up, like PM me on Facebook. Um, then once you PM me on Facebook, I'll PM you back within that hour or within the next hour. And I'll be talking to you about doing your hair because I feel like locks are important. And I feel like if you are going to grow your locks, you have to maintain them. You have to have a spiritual connection with them. And you have to keep them on top of your head. And as we all know from the story of Samson, when you cut off your locks, you cut off your power. All right. Peace and blessings to you all. And have a great day. Oh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell so you get all my new videos. Thanks again. Bye, guys.